Greg, on behalf of the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame Incorporated, the Green Bay Packers and Packer fans everywhere, I pre present you with this ring and this bronze football as your induction into the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame. Congratulations. I'm sorry, I lost. I'm emotional. I said I wouldn't cry, but I did. Um, and to be honest, I'm just going to let this moment happen. brother said a couple things that, uh, man, they, they hit me. I've never really celebrated myself. And uh, I've never really cared for others to even celebrate me, to put a greater spotlight on who I am, what I've done, and the value that I bring. When I was drafted by the Green Bay Packers in uh, 2006, it was a culmination of emotions that ran through me. First and foremost, in full transparency, it was the number one place I did not want to end up. <laughs> And as I have my kids here, sometimes what you want is not always what's best for you. And so what I did not know was best, what was best for me was truly the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Ending up here in Green Bay, an extension of my already amazing family, I got to be embraced by another amazing family. It just happened to be an organization full of individuals that carried this legacy, this culture, this sense of championship pedigree that I wanted, I, I, I embraced, and I, I long to be a part of. So quick story before I get to thanking everybody and then wrapping up as quick as Tim did. You're definitely gonna beat me, by the way. Um, first first mini camp, I get, I get here and you know, you're a rookie, you're trying to show off, you wanna make sure that you make your mark. You, Brett Favre was my quarterback. So all I thought to myself was just catch the ball. Nothing else, catch the ball. If I ran the wrong route, it doesn't matter. If he throws it, catch the ball. If you mess up and nobody sees it, get up. If the ball's coming your way, catch the ball. So I did that. I caught the ball. Caught the ball every time he threw it to me. Didn't drop anything. I thought that immediately, this was the first practice, I thought immediately, man, they're going to be excited. <laughs> I'm doing my part. So we had team dining, and I don't know where all the other rookies were, and I saw Chris Francis in here somewhere. He came in with me, and I, I remember I had a cousin named Ian Gold. He played for the Denver Broncos at the time, and he was kind of the forerunner. He was the one that I looked up to that I saw go through this entire process. And in college, everything is, you know, together, brother, and, and 
the family, the organization was the family, but the players, it was a little different. You had to kind of earn that, that way in. So I walked into team dining, and apparently I was not supposed to be there because the first person I see is Brett, then I see Amon Green, and then I see Donald Driver, I see Aaron Cameron, I see all veterans, but I don't see those who I came in with. So I literally do this, and I turn around and I walk back out because of what I saw. And in that brief moment, for the first time in my life, I don't even think I've told this to any of my family, I felt like I didn't belong in there. And it wasn't because they didn't welcome me, it was because what I saw, I wanted to provide that level of excellence that I had always seen out of each one of those guys that I immediately encountered with my eyes. And at that moment in my career, I hadn't had the opportunity to do it, and so I felt like this isn't for me. And I remember calling my cousin saying, "In, I don't know if I can do it. Set in the, I don't even know if it's the same anymore, there's so much that's going on, but I sat in the main entrance, and I remember being on the phone with him and saying, I, I can't do it. This is not what I thought it was. They don't even accept me. I can't do this. And he said, just stick it out and you'll be fine. And here I am, a member of the Green Bay Packer Hall of Fame, sticking it out through good times, through not so good times. And that's kind of what I want to share. And if you may, if bear with me, I just kind of want to speak to my kids. I love you guys. Amaya, my oldest, Aaliyah, Ava, my man Ace. That's your shout out, by the way, that you was asking for. <laughs> I love you guys. And I've always tried to show you guys the right way to do things. But I've never, I've never run away from the bad ways, the bad things, the mistakes, the ups, the downs, the trials, the, the struggle. Being transparent is who I am. It's who I, I will forever be. And I love that about myself. What you see standing here is your dad. What I feel standing here is something that I could have never dreamt of. All of you have dreams, and everything that you dream about will never come to fruition if you don't step with action. You got to put a foot to the ground in front of the other and make it happen. I never would have dreamed that I would be an inductee of the Packer Hall of Fame with Bart Starr and Cherry and Bart Jr and Tim and all these great individuals and people. But it's not always about just what you dream, it's about what you put into action. And sometimes what you start, you may not even understand what the finish will ever look like. But as long as you start, as long as you believe that what you have is a value, and you operate with that, you will accomplish anything you want. Everything that you want is in you. God gave it to you. And he's allowed myself and my beautiful bride, Nicole, your mother, the one who's been in my corner from day one, to be your parents to help navigate that until you're in position to where you're off and running on your own. Mom and dad, I appreciate all the morals and the values that you instilled in me. Um, everyone, I don't think we understand the importance 
of those who we encounter, regardless of the level of impact, of the depth of the relationship, until it's, you're removed from it. And the moment that my relationship changed as far as being a Packer, a lot of things changed. I remember my daughter telling me when I, when I was in the purple, I'm sorry guys. Uh, <laughs> Daddy, you guys never win. <laughs> she said, you always won when you were with the Packers. Why would you even ever come to Minnesota? And again, everything happens for a reason. I didn't know the plans that God had for me, for my family, and neither did I want to ever try to get in the way of that. But the one thing I can say, and I will say because I have this opportunity, is that this Packer family will always be family to me, no matter what family goes through, family always finds a way to make it right. And this moment, why it's so important to me, is because I never thought, I never even considered this moment. It was never in my dreams. It was never a desire of mine. But it's here. And it's not here just because of me. It's, um, it's here because of the family that recognize what I provided in that locker room, on that field. And I wanna piggyback off some of the words that Bart Jr. said. It's our job to do more. My more may look different. My more you may not even agree with. My more may not be in alignment with your beliefs, but it's my more. I can't be anything other than who God created me to be. You can't be and should not strive to be anything other than who you were created and ordained to be. And if we continue to do that collectively, then we would see more good than we do the bad. We would see and appreciate more highs than we do the lows. We would even appreciate the value that we as individuals bring to the table that others may see more than we see ourselves because we're doing and living our destiny. In closing, I know I forgot a lot of people, and I'm sorry. I really appreciate everyone for this moment. I just want to say to my kids, you can do and be whatever you want to be. And I mean that. Don't ever let anyone, anything, and I look at you, Amaya, as my oldest, or any insurmountable, circumstance that is in front of you detour you from believing the value that's in you and what you bring to the table because it was in you from birth and it's up to you to bring the fullness of what was birthed in you out to be this beautiful flower. I know you all will as I continue to walk out mine I'm excited to see you walk out yours and your destiny, babe. I love you. Literally day one. Highs, lows, 
ups, downs, good, bad, we here. And I say we're here because, because of you, I was able to continue doing what it was that I enjoyed and loved. As you held down home, I did my part. And now as you take on the world, I hold down home and do my part. <laughs> to all of you, to all of you, uh, whoever think that, man, I don't know if I'll ever get the appreciation or the accolades, or who may never even think about receiving any of those appreciations or accolades, know that you are appreciated. I appreciate each and every one of you. Mark Murphy, I appreciate you. Russ Ball, Doc McKenzie, who definitely helped me out <laughs> out of my days here. Uh, Pep, it, now the, the memory is starting to kick in, all the guys. Uh, everyone, all of you, but I, I think the beauty of being here is this. I don't think anywhere I could have ever gone, I would have been embraced where I could have met the most beautiful people within the Packer organization, the Packer community. You, all, you guys have always been the reason why we take that field with so much joy, so much pride and enthusiasm. Thank you so much for this honor. Brian, I didn't get a chance to do it for you, man, but you, you, you got a couple great ones. Uh, and go Pack Go, God bless.